IHGN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello Braves, and welcome to another episode of Braves Beat for this school year. I'm Sarah Beck. And I'm Izzy Warsham. So Sarah, do you have any plans for Halloween? Yeah, let's play hide and seek. Come find me in the cornfield. Okay, anyways. Well, there's a lot of news to cover, so let's get on with it. October is Hispanic Heritage Month. Antonio C. Novello was America's first Latin surgeon general. Novello was managed to excel in her studies to become a doctor. She was the first woman to receive the University of Michigan Pediatrics Department Intern of the Year. October is also Breast Cancer Awareness Month, an annual campaign to raise awareness of this complex disease and fund research into its causes, treatment, and cure. Every October, businesses and communities come together to show their support for the many people affected by breast cancer. This is a time to reflect, give back, or even celebrate. Congrats to our volleyball team for doing their part with the Volley for the Cure event. As you all know, the fall play is here. Gino Cardosi had a chance to interview Mia Jackson, one of the performers in the show. Roll the clip. Hey Braves, I'm Gino Cardosi. Didn't think I'd be back this year and yet here I am. So I'm here today with Mia Jackson to talk about A Midsummer Night's Dream. So Mia, who exactly are you in A Midsummer Night's Dream? So I play Hermia, which um, is the daughter of Aegeus who like wants to get married to Lysander but her father wants her to marry somebody else. So then kind of run away off into the woods and then just a bunch of crazy stuff happens. Very intriguing. Sounds like a fun time for everybody. So what exactly is the show? So the show is going to be this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7 o'clock. Unfortunately, I think by the time that this airs, we will have already missed the Thursday show, but there is still time to go buy tickets for Friday and Saturday, so make sure you go out and do that. Send it back to you at the desk. The directors, cast, and crew of their production would like to invite you to one of the performances. The first show was last night, but there is still time to check it out. There is a show tonight and Saturday night starting at 7.30. Come out and see the great show. Activity Fair was on Tuesday this week in the gymnasium. All of our outstanding clubs were there and every student had an opportunity to check it out. We encourage all of you to join one, of our, one or more of these clubs. Go Braves! Now let's toss it over to our sports team for this week's report. Hello Braves, I'm Katie Green with this week's sport report. And I'm George Zaring. Starting off with the girls tennis, over the weekend the girls competed individually in the sectionals tournament. Junior Brooke Arrington got first place in singles, while sophomore Caroline Brown got second. In doubles, Le Lexi and Cassie Larson got third, while Hannah Pollock and Sarika Singh got fourth. Yesterday, they competed in the district's tournament, and we will have the results in next week's episode. Next, we have soccer. The boys have earned the number one seed again this year. We will begin tournament play October 20th at home versus the winner of the ninth Bethel Tate slash 12th Norwood game. Now for the girls. Last night we honored 13 amazing seniors while shutting out Reading 2-0. Congratulations to the seniors Mia Fiore and Rose Vigran for scoring. The girls field hockey team took a hard loss in the last few seconds last Thursday against Ursuline. They took on Ursuline last night and we will have that score next week. Their tournament begins by playing Oakwood next Tuesday at home. Be there and support your Braves. Now for golf. Piper Isrig was named CHL Player of the Year and competes at the D1 Girls District at Heatherwood. In boys golf, special congratulations to senior Wyatt Higgins for making it to the OHSAA golf tournament held at The Ohio State University. Good luck, Braves. Closing out with football. Last Friday, the Braves dominated Finneytown with a score of 38-7. to Tonight, they take on Deer Park. It is the last home game, and it is also a senior night for our football players. Be sure to come out and support your Braves. <laughs> well, that's all the sports news we have for this week. Back to the news desk. Thanks for that report, Katie and George. Our fall sports teams are wrapping up their seasons well. Go Braves! We received a message from Preston Marks on behalf of student government about this year's talent show. Tryouts are on November 14th after school. Rehearsal is on December 6th after school, and the talent show is on December 7th during Flex. Check out the flyers around the building or click on the QR code for more information. We're excited to see all of our amazing talent from our Braves. Did you know that tomorrow is National Dessert Day? Oh my god, I hope Dairy Queen's open. 
Well, that's all, folks, so be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay, stay classy, classy in the in hill. hill. I'm Luis Vega Torres. I'm the student director for Midsummer Night's Dream. And guess what? It's opening night. It's opening night. It's opening night. Thank you. See you at the show. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's Come go. to Midsummer. See you at the show. Come to Midsummer. Watch it. Come to Midsummer. Woo! Come to Midsummer. See you at the show. See you at the show. It's opening night. Go. See you at Midsummer. Go. See you at the show. <laughs> go. Come see Midsummer. Come to the show. See you at the show. Jesus. See you at the show. Come to Midsummer. It's opening night. Come to Midsummer. It's opening night. Come to a Midsummer Night's Dream. See you at the show. See you at a Midsummer Night's Dream. See you at the show. No. See you at the show. Perfect. Come to Midsummer. It's opening night. See you at the show. See you at Midsummer. It's opening night. <laughs>